Hey, what's up guys? It's Sam with Academy FM and today I'm going to show you how to write a uh, future house baseline. So I've got a, a small drum loop prepared here. Really simple. Uh, all the samples are from the Cymatics House Essentials pack. Yeah, it's, so it's just a kick, clap, a uh, hi-hat loop and a fill. And we're on 125 BPM. So I've got a serum patch loaded up here. This is from the Gecko pack. You can download that on Academy FM. Uh, and I got the adventure bass right here. And that sounds like this. So let's s start with making a, a, a two bar MIDI loop and then just looping it for the second part. Now, most bass lines in Future House are two bars long and then the second two bars are a slight variation on the first two bars. So let's write the first half uh, right now. So I want to write this in G minor. So I'm going to use this trick I use where you first click all the notes that are in G minor. So that's G, uh, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F and G. You select those, you copy that, an octave up, an octave down. Now select all, and then move them back one step so they're be before the MIDI actually actually starts. So if you play it, you don't hear anything, but you can still see the notes. So you can use this as a reference uh, of which notes to use if you aren't that uh, good at music theory yet and you haven't learned the notes uh, from your head. So let's start it with the G. Now a lot of Feature house bass lines have this have kind of the same patterns. So a lot of the times you will hear something like this. This rhythm. And then sometimes you will hear some eighth notes in So you can just start with the rhythm right there. So we have some uh, 16th notes here at the end. Actually, I want to tweak this one. Okay, that sounds good. So right now this is quite monotone. It's all on G. So I want to change that. So a lot of the good notes to use are the root note, the third of the root chord. So that's in the G minor chord, that's uh, B flat. And also the fifth of the root chord, so that's the D right here. So we can go from G to uh, the third, maybe. Or maybe here. And then maybe go to E flat. Maybe then stay on E flat. The reason I actually I use this drum loop is to get a good sense of the rhythm. Uh, the rhythm in Future House is actually really important, like the groove and all the all the things that make the groove what it is. So oftentimes that's gonna be the hi hat loop or the the percussion loop and also the rhythm of the bass line. So uh, we have this loop right here. And let's go maybe up to back up to F. So for the first half, that sounds good. So now we're gonna go over here to the left and press duplicate loop. So now we have a copy of the loop in the second part. And I'm gonna make some variations just to make it a little less boring. So I'm just using the octave from the note that we're using right here. Um, maybe you want to use an octave here too. And then maybe a uh, small melody right here. Right, let's actually do this right here.
Okay, cool. So, as you may have noticed, there is a lot of swing in this hi-hat loop right here. Or actually, there isn't. But a lot of the uh, Future House songs that are really popular have a lot of swing and groove to it. So we're going to go to Packs, under Places, Core Library, Swing and Groove. We can go to Hip Hop. Find a, a, a groove you really like. So I like Hip Hop too, but you can also use uh, under MPC, there's a lot of good ones. Like this one. So I like this one more, so I'm going to double click this. Open up the groove pool by pressing these waves right here. And resetting the velocity to zero because I don't want to change the velocity as I'm changing the timing. So in the MIDI clip right here, I'm gonna now go to groove and select the groove that we just uh, inserted into this groove pool. So now it should sound like this. So you can especially hear it in this uh, 16th part here, right here. Instead of So that adds a lot of groove. Now you can do the same with hi-hat loops. As you can see, Ableton has placed all these warp markers right on the transients of every hit. So what you can do is you can just uh, press this one and it will add that groove to this loop. Now, if you want to see what it changes, you can press commit and then you'll see that it actually just delays uh, the second 16th notes just by a little bit, so that gives it the groove that we want. So now if we listen to the full thing again. And that's how you write a future house bass loop. So I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.